So hello everyone, my name is Siri Tong and I'm going to discuss our project called Advanced Silicon Based Lithium Ion Battery with Carbon Composite Anode. Well, this topic seems complicated and difficult to understand, so I'm going to discuss a more general way. So obviously the market of lithium battery has keep expansion and the profit keeps increasing year by year. So however, from the figure there, you can see the trend has become more stable in recent years. That means the traditional lithium battery has made a bottleneck. Although the conventional carbon-based electrons have a good stability and low manufacturing cost, uh, the small capacity and the lithium dinitrate phenomena has limited the development a lot. Therefore, people start to find uh, uh, instead a way to solve this issue is called silicon-based electrons. It has a large energy-specific capacity with a good electrical conductivities we need. So as you can see there, the better lithium cell we are going to design has a st structure as shown on the right side there. All these layers were encapsulated and limited together to form the battery we need. In this project, we plan to use the composite material of the anode to optimize the performance of battery. So the silicon-based electrons have the common metal structure there and the working principle called annealing and denealing process. So as present here, the lithium ions will combine or separate with the silicate <coughs> ions to generate the, the electron transmission. So the silicate lithium silicate will have some drawbacks called valent expansion effects, which will expand the atom, atomic volume around 400%. These issues will destroy the electron issue and rapidly reduce the lifetime of the battery. In this project, we aim to solve that issue by adding some carbon nanotubes and graphene into the electrons. You may ask me why do I choose this kind of materials? That is because the carbon nanotubes could provide a good electron transmission ability and the other one could give the large material specific area we need. So compared to the expensive nano silicate, this, this ways are more cheaper and have better me mechanical and electrochemical properties for the battery. At the meantime, it could increase the capacity. So the entire button cell were prepared in following steps. So firstly, the high purity silicon polymer will be formulating with the carbon nanotubes and the graphene we need. Uh, after drying process, it will set to vacuum tube singletons. Uh, after that, so we choose SEM or XRD devices to check the material characterization to find which one is the best recipe we want, we, we need, and uh, ready for the later lamination and charging discharging test. So according to the literatures of June and Odaka in 2018, we have recognized the threshold of inside the silicon electrons around 77%. So by using the variable control method, the reference group has been set it. So all this concentration of the doping will follow these tables to find which the best, the most suitable concentration we need inside this project. Theoretically, we would like to have a flat and uniformly distributed mechanism to minimize the resistance losses. So meanwhile, we hope the composite material could improve the battery, battery capacity with a reasonable life cycle. If our research success, uh, the, it would be a major change in history of lithium batteries and the nearly 10 times increment in battery capacity will lead a huge market for electric vehicles, include cars, bicycles, and even airplanes. So also many products could become portable, mobile phones and computers will upgrade in the future. Thanks for listening.